What's up YouTube? My name is Clickwood and I am back again today bringing you guys another video for my Madden 25 Ultimate Team series. And if you guys watched yesterday's video, you saw a wager match that I did where I won 20,000 coins. Well, kind of, anyway. At first it looked like my opponent was going to welch on the bet. He ended up actually paying up, so that's great. But you guys told me that going forward I needed to have the person pay up beforehand. So that's what you're seeing here. Today we're going to be playing his 96 overall Nambe Asamoa Elite Madden 25 edition card against my 97 overall playoff edition Gerald McCoy team MVP card. And I think that's about a fair trade. They're both going for roughly 35,000 to 40,000 uh, depending on you know what time you're online. And the opponent that I'm playing today is Ethan 0001234 and here's a quick look at his team. Not too bad, it's actually better overall than my team. He has a lot of good talent on this roster. Not a lot of super high value cards, but still, in the areas where it matters, his team is really good. I think he's, what, 95 overall or something like that. And uh, so it's definitely a better team overall than mine, but I do think I have better big time playmakers. So first play of the game here, as you know, I usually like to do the outside zone on the first play, but when I'm playing a subscriber, I know that they're gonna expect that. So I decided to go off the opposite side, ended up picking up a decent gain here. A couple of plays later now, we go read option, beautiful spin move there. Walter Payton breaks a tackle, and we get a nice 14-yard gain there on that read option. This time we hand it off up the middle to CJ2K, who picks up a decent gain as well. And it's second and five now. We're going to go with the screen pass here, and we get taken down from behind. His team must have scouted it. Good defensive play there. Very next play, third and nine, and I thread it in there. That was a dangerous, probably a stupid throw, but it worked out for me. Beautiful pass that time. Walter Payton, one of his best throws that I've seen him make for me. Love that. And then the read option here off the edge one more time as we step into the end zone. A first drive touchdown, making me feel pretty good right away. Now on defense, I knew that he was going to be a little bit mobile here with Andrew Luck but he still ended up picking up nine yards on that play. Next play, it looks like Walter Payton's gonna get the first down, but he's actually held short there by Antro Roll. It's okay though, because the next play ends up getting the first down. And I'm starting to see here that he just wants to grind the ball down my throat with Walter Payton. And it's hard to blame him. Walter Payton, he's got the 99 Walter Payton, definitely the best card on his team. But as you can see here, Andrew Luck still has the talent to make plays, even though he ended up dropping that one. That was still a great play by his quarterback. Made me a little bit worried. But the very next play, Deion Sanders says, gotcha, bitch, and gets the interception. He is going to high step his way into the end zone. An easy pick six there for prime time. Back on defense, and Luck is going to challenge Charles Woodson here. And look at that tippy-toe interception. An incredible pick there. And we are back in business on offense, up 14. And I'm going to try to put the dagger in here. Why not, you know? But I end up taking a sack there. My receiver was open, but I just couldn't get it. Next play, it's second and 19, and we pick up a nice game here with CJ2K. Look at him breaking tackles, moving the ball down the field with ease. Next play, CJ2K is going to pick up the first down and more with the spin move. Touchdown, ladies and gentlemen. A delicious touchdown run by CJ2K. Making things look very easy here in this wager game as we pick up a sack with Elvis Doomerville. And now on third and 23, the pass rush is getting to him. And Charles Woodson gets another interception. He has been unbelievable since we picked him up. Back on offense now. Pass to the left. It's a comeback route to Trinidad Holiday. The spin move. And that's going to make it 28-0 here. That speed, though. You just cannot stop Trinidad Holiday if he gets into the open field. And look at Charles Woodson making plays on the run. I actually pass committed on that play, and Woodson still made an insane play in run stopping. That that card is OP. I, I have no words. Again now, Elvis Doomerville with another sack, and it's 4th and 23. Do you think he's going to be able to convert? Is he going to be able to convert? Nope. Doom gets to him again. And with only a few seconds left in the half, I decided to take a field goal to go up 31-0 at halftime. Man, this is a really nice situation to be in when we're playing for a lot of coins. But look at that. Andrew Luck threads the needle to Jordan Cameron, one of my budget tight ends. And he makes a big play against me there. Now it's second and 10, and Luck is going to throw into coverage again. Check out Brent Grimes, though. Drops the pick. 
Yeah, needless to say, it would be nice to have that Namde Asamoah, so hopefully I'm able to hold on to this lead. As he bombs it down the field, yes, another interception. Antro roll comes up big here. And man, this is looking like it's going to be a victory as I go off the right side here with the outside zone. Look at Donald Penn picking up blocks. He misses a tackle. CJ2K with the back juke picks up an additional 10 yards. And that is going to do it in this one as my opponent decides that he has had enough. The Namde Asamoah is coming with me. And I know the score doesn't exactly indicate it, but I'm telling you guys, this game was harder than the score looks. Ethan is a legit dude, and he paid up on our bet, which I always appreciate. So shout out to him for the game. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you leave a like. If you could comment, I would appreciate it. And of course, a subscription means a lot to me as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.